Hello, I am Dr. Vishal Agrawal. I am consultant nephrologist at GNRC Hospital Guwahati. Today, we are observing World Kidney Day, which is a global health awareness program, which is observed worldwide on second Thursday of March every year. This year's theme is Living Well with Kidney Disease. Today, I wanted to take this opportunity of the World Kidney Day to share with you some information regarding the function of kidney and the kidney disease. So before moving on to the kidney disease, I wanted you to have some knowledge about the kidney functions. As we all know that kidney mainly acts to remove the waste products from the body via urine. The, there are some other functions of the kidney also which includes control of the blood pressure, maintaining uh, optimum level of the hemoglobin and also maintaining the bone health. So these are the few functions of the kidney other than the making urine. So now moving on to the kidney disease. So what will happen when you develop kidney disease? There will be decrease in your urine output, there will be swelling in the legs, your appetite will be decreased, you will feel nausea, vomiting, there may be difficulty in breathing, also your BP may go high. So these are the few signs symptoms which you, that you will develop when you develop kidney disease. There are two types of kidney disease that is AKI or acute kidney injury or CKD or chronic kidney disease. When we talk about acute kidney injury, these are the kidney diseases that develop suddenly due to causes like uh, severe infection causing decrease in your blood pressure, diarrhea causing decrease in the total body fluid or some medications uh, can cause sudden kidney injury and can lead to increase in the parameters like urea and creatinine. These are the diseases of the kidneys which when treated properly and timely can lead to the uh, complete cure of the disease. Now when we talk about the other section of the disease that is chronic kidney disease which is which we are more worried because these are the group of disease which are not completely curable. These are the disease that we need to keep under control and the major reasons for these diseases are the one and the most important cause is diabetes mellitus. Diabetes mellitus is the worldwide the most common cause of kidney chronic kidney disease. Others include hypertension, renal calculus, autoimmune diseases like SLE and uh, other diseases like genetic disease like polycystic kidney disease. So these are the few other diseases uh, which can lead to chronic kidney disease. So in this, in this uh, section of diseases that is we call chronic kidney disease they develop very slowly. So in the very initial part patient usually does not develop any symptoms and the only symptom may be uh, decrease in the appetite or generalized weakness or easy fatigue. So these are the all only symptoms which develop in the early part of the disease. So these are the not very specific symptoms to the kidney so patient usually doesn't go to the doctor to evaluate their kidneys. So this is very important for the persons who are having diabetes or high pressure to go to the doctor and get their kidneys checked every year because as I told you that patient doesn't develop any symptoms in the initial stages of the kidney. So when we talk about chronic kidney disease, we divide the patients into five stages. Stage one in where the kidney disease has just started and the stage five where the kidneys are already totally burned out and the only option available is the renal replacement therapy in the form of either dialysis or kidney transplant. So in the initial first three to four stage in the CKD patient does not develop any symptom or very few symptoms. And uh, as the stage progresses, patient develop increase in leg swelling, decrease in urine output, or decrease in appetite and shortness of breath. So it is uh, most important that we prevent the progression of the kidney disease from stage 1 to stage 4 or stage 5. And this can be done by achieving optimal control of the diabetes or high pressure or the other basic disease that is causing the kidney failure. So once the patient reaches to the stage 5 or end stage kidney disease, the only tip Option, treatment options available are either dialysis or kidney transplant. In dialysis there are two types of dialysis one is hemodialysis and one is peritoneal dialysis. Hemodialysis is a dialysis that for which the patient has to come to the hospital either two or three times a week and do the dialysis each session which consists of around four hours. And the peritoneal dialysis is also called home dialysis in which a catheter is inserted into the abdomen of the patient and uh, with the help of the special fluid that we call dialysis fluid which is inserted three to uh, two to three times a day in the abdomen and dialysis can be done at home. 
and the last and the best option which is available uh, for the renal replacement as a renal replacement therapy is the kidney transplant so as i mentioned that this is the best option available so in kidney transplant uh, the relative of the patient that is the first degree relative that is either the parents or the siblings or the children of the patient can donate one kidney of, of their to the patient which is then transplanted into the patient and after which the patient can lead more or less normal life thank you